Hello and welcome to the Ham Kid KM4 WBK. My name is Sam, uh, KM4 WBK, obviously. And uh, today we're going to be talking about what I think is a pretty good bit radio for ham radio beginners, mostly kids, um, and that is the Baofeng UV5R. Uh, it is the one radio I have. It's this one. Um, it, I've, I, as you can see, I've done a couple modifications. I have my external antenna that you saw in my last video, the Diamond MR73SA, and I have my extended battery, too. Um, and then I also have my speaker mic and my other couple microphones slash headsets. Um, so, um, why do I think I'll talk about in this video the pros and cons of this radio? Uh, the Probably the number one pro of this radio is that it's cheap. It, I got it for, I think, $35 on Amazon. Um, I got... And I got the battery for like five dollars. Um, I got the antenna. Yep. Um, actually, the antenna costs just as much as the radio. Um, it's not an expensive um, radio, which is a good thing about it. Um, it's pretty easy to use. Um, it has the uh, very, um, once you learn how to use it and like do stuff like programming repeaters in, it is very easy to, um, it is very easy to do those things. Yeah, so, and I like that it has a flashlight on it. If you just click the monitor button, it's like a strobe light. It's probably going to look really bad on the video. Um, as the speaker mic port, it is a little hard to find microphones for this because it's using the Chinese style of connectors where the, um, the microphone is the 3.5 and the speaker is 2.5. Um, that's not how most especially American radios, um, are made. Uh, it comes with a belt clip, um, which is nice, especially for public service, which I'll talk about in a future vi video. And this strap, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, it's a good radio. Um, obviously, the $35 HT you can't expect the best quality from it. It's a very durable radio. It has a very good battery life. Um, I think I've dropped this one or two times and it's fine. Maybe a couple scratches here and there. Oh, it also has FM. And um, if you hold in the call button, it turns on an alarm. Um, which is a pretty cool feature, especially if you're using this hiking. It's also a very small radio, um, which I didn't really like. I wanted a larger radio. It's just easier to hold and operate with a large radio for me. It has a, a dial for the volume, turns off and on. This little button right here. Um, I'm pretty sure, Channel mode. yep, it tells you what frequency you are on and whether you're on channel or slash memory or VFO mode, which is you just type in it, you just type in any frequency, you can go there. Um, I think it does have the opposite of most, I think it also has the opposite antenna connector. This is an SMA. I think it's a male. Not sure. Um, 
I have to get this little connector in between the two. Uh, that little guy. So I could plug plug this antenna in. Um, I don't have the stock antenna right now, but I can tell you it's not a good antenna. Um, just like any stock rubber duck antenna. Um, no stock antenna is going to be good. Um, that's just how it is. That's just how it works. Um, yep, and then... So, I highly recommend, as soon as you can, you get a new antenna. And, um, what I think is a good antenna... My second antenna that I got, this the, this one. See that the Nagoya and November Alpha seven seven one. It's a dual band two meter seventy centimeter antenna. Um, it's a good antenna. It's cheap. I got this one for nine dollars, I think. Um, but you do have to worry. You do have to look out for fakes. Because um, with any good product, there's going to be rip-offs. Um, this one is real. Um, you can tell because it has the silver writing. Blue writing is not real. It's a fa it's fake. Um, and I think there's also something about this little ridge that tells you if it's real or fake. But I don't know. I don't know all the parameters about fake or real. But this is a good antenna for this radio. Um, has the right connector so you don't have to get an adapter because it is I'm pretty sure it's a Japanese antenna with a Chinese or Japanese radio <sighs> yep and this one also has dual channels also has one frequency mode channel mode okay yeah, it's working um yep you can see the bolts have gotten a little rusty that's probably my fault. Um, it also has the um, uh, transmitting indicator light and it also has a receiving indicator light. Um, whenever you use it for a couple seconds it will turn on this purple screen then it will turn off. Um, this extended battery if you opt to get another adapter charger thing you can just plug that straight into the radio and charge it. Um, I think they come in the car charger, the cigarette cigarette lighter format. Um, I don't have it, so I don't know. Um, and then I have, this is the only speaker mic I have with me at the moment. It's the little Baofeng speaker mic. Um, a good mic. It's a good microphone. Um, good audio audio quality. Um, good transmitting audio quality. Um, it cost me four dollars, so I'm saying good for a four dollar microphone. Um, another thing I don't like about the bow thing to and its connectors is like if I want to plug. Thanks. That's the receiver light. And you can change those colors. I think I did. I just wanted to mix it up, so I did. Um, it's... You can... What is cool about it is you can plug, like, your regular headphones, like these headphones in, listen through here. I'm not... That kind of wreaks havoc on your ability to transmit using this microphone, though. Um... Yep, and it's act, it's not too good of a uh, plastic freezing for this mic because like general use, um, this right here, this crack formed, um, which isn't too big of a deal, but it's kind of horrible that this microphone broke 
after a couple days of normal use. Um, I would clip it onto my shirt because I would have my radio up on a window or some other place to clip a radio on and it would just get broken. It just got broken. I don't know how. This also has the um, a transmit light right there. Can't see that because it's not plugged in right now. Um, but yep, I think that's gonna be all. Um, oh, channel news. Um, I may be doing a video with Gary um, KN4AQ from Ham Radio Now soon. Um, him and those guys, Marty and David. David is um, WDHD, I think it, his call sign is, and he's the co-host of Ham Radio Now. And um, Marty, uh, KC1CWF, Chicken with Fries, that's what they call him on the show. Um, I would do a field day video this year. Um, it would be my first field day, and it would be great to show everyone what I learned during that um, experience. Um, but um, I will not be in Charlotte at that time, so I won't be able to go. I won't be doing any videos for like the next month unless I do one this week. Um, yeah, and um, gave, Gary gave me some good tips um, with Ham Radio, uh, or Pop Ham Radio with um, YouTube, uh, just YouTube tips in general, um, and the video quality is a little better right now because I'm on my computer, I'm using the video thing on my computer, but yep. 73 KM4 WDK. Thanks for watching.